Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's not a big one, but there's a lot of good stuff and excuse my sniffling. I have a bit of a cold, um, been to the doctor, had a COVID PCR test. It was negative and she has said for me to test again today and tomorrow at home just to make sure because I just started feeling sick on Sunday. And when I was at the doctor on Monday, she said it might have been too early for a COVID test. But currently, I do not have COVID. I just have a bit of a cold. So I've taken some day quill and night quill. All right, Dollar Tree haul. I've been looking for some like crafty stuff because I really want to do some fall crafty, fall Halloween, you know, my Halloween's giving miss, all the things. So I picked up some tumbling tower blocks. These are the Dollar Tree version of Jenga. And I have scissors. So we're in my office. We're in my office because I finally got a new office chair that doesn't squeak when I sit in it. So now I can be up here more with my ma making videos. So these are, um, I kind of like this set. They come in two different colors, but they're just little little square blocks and you can make all kinds of crafty business with these for ornaments and stuff. So I grabbed a box because I was out. All right, here we go. I found, how fun is this guys? It is a bag and it has like a plastic liner and then the outside is burlap. We are gonna try when I do a video of um, using my heat, press again because I have some video ideas coming or some ideas to make. I'm going to try to see if I can do this and not melt it with the heat press and personalize something. So you can see through it, but on the inside there is like a plastic liner, but I thought these were so cute. So they had these size bags and then they had them, um, they had some bags like this or some tote bags that were this size and white like muslin, but I like this one. So I got two of these, which I think will be super fun just to do some DIYing with. I grabbed these. So these came out last year. My stores never received them until the like after Halloween last year. But I want to take these off and do a little DIY. Now I saw chic on the sheet, chic, chic on the cheap, do something where she made a garland with these poison bottles. I'm going to do something a little different. So yeah, I grabbed a couple of these and I had a few from last year. And then to kind of coordinate with those, I grabbed this sign that says welcome. And it also has the, the bottles on them. So I thought whatever, if I decide to do, I can also incorporate this in some of these bottles. And I think they're going to go on my kitchen shelving in, uh, in my kitchen. I have some shelves, hence the kitchen shelving. I'm just grabbing stuff out of this bag down here. No rhyme, no reason. But this year they did come out with these um, travel coffee cups. I love them. Um, I will say the cup lids aren't the best. You really want to make sure that they're on your cup. But look at this one. It's plaid. And then you have the little pumpkin on the, the little hand guard. And you get enough for four cups. So they definitely have downplayed their cup situation they usually usually you would get five but that's all right for me this is perfect and these lids seem to fit a little better last year i had an issue with some of my lids not staying on and my coffee spilling on me but i like these for a couple reasons number one my coffee bar these are great for coffee on the go also, if you're having any type of a seasonal thing at your job or somewhere out and you want to have a fun little decor but usable item, these are great on a coffee bar um, in order to, you know, if you're going to serve like hot chocolate or coffee or cider or any type of a beverage, these are just very fun and they add that whole seasonal feel to it. Now, depending how many people you're having, it may not be a cost you know, a good cost 
saving idea. But they had the plaid and then my store had this, um, this one here. And on the little sleeve, it says thankful and you get your leaves. I love these cups. I get them. I have plain ones. Hey, Alex. I have plain ones as well that I use. But around the holidays, I love putting these out on my coffee bar. It's just an added sense of festivities, you know? And I'm hoping that they come out with some Christmas ones. Alex, stop. We want you to say hi. You come here and I will hold you. Ooh. He said no. Come over here, please. Um, I found only one of these at my store. It's that weird feeling fabric. But it says Gnome Sweet Gnome on it. And I just think these are adorable. Um, with the little gnomes and the fall. And I use these solely for decoration. I do not try to. They're not absorbent at all. And I hate touching them. But they're cute. So I use these. You know, you can lay them out for your coffee bar, lay it on your coffee bar. There's a million things you can do. You can make pillows with these um, because it is one continuous piece of fabric. Here, let me cut the tag. And I have learned my lesson, guys, with Dollar Tree stuff. Oh, also, I will say these are a little thicker than they normally have out. It's a different quality of of this fabric but you could use this like under your coffee maker on a table as a runner you could hang it all the way up like that i mean they're really nice and this one is definitely thicker than the ones that i have purchased in the past so that's nice that they're kind of up in their game a little bit on that quality as well oh, i found this little sign um either for my kitchen as well or for my mantle it's nice and short and of course there's a black cat this is the time of year i will tell you my secret that i get a lot of my black cat stuff i mean it's obvious i have two black cats and i love them and this is the time of year i stock up on things that have like the black cats on them so <laughs> But I thought this is really cute with the pumpkins, kind of the scarecrow. It's shorter, so it's good for a small place. I could probably even put it on the shelf in my bathroom. I just thought it would be fun for a little... I'm not sure why I'm so into Halloween this year. But apparently I'm into Halloween this year. I don't know. Let me put this... Let me fold this properly and put it away. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is a little sore today. That is the one thing that made me think I had COVID is that's how my COVID started when I had it in May. I just started with a sore throat. And my doctor did say that um, this new BMA version of COVID starts with the throat. But again, I don't have it. Also, I haven't really talked about the queen's passing just because it makes my heart sad. I loved her. I loved the queen. I never met her, obviously. I just loved her, the person. And so I am heart. I'm heart sick over it and I'm very sad, but I will be actually in London next month. Just not because of this, but I will be there coincidentally. So I feel like I can say my, you know, pay my respects when I'm there and kind of come to terms with it. Obviously she was 96 years old, but it does make my heart sad. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Okay, what did I get? Uh, sorry about the leaving. Oh, I grabbed these for my niece, Sarah. Uh, these are pumpkin spice Oreos. I like to buy her these little packs when they come out with different seasonal flavors. Um, she can obviously buy them herself, but I like to spoil her. Um, so this is a six pack of pumpkin spice Oreos. So I put together little treat bags for her. And actually, I probably should get a couple more because she and her friend are going to um, a wedding at the beginning of October before I leave. The weekend before I leave, they're leaving for Indiana and I'm watching Luna so I'll make I'm putting together a little goodie bag for the girls and yeah so I think that'll be perfect anyway so um that was a thought on the fly I grabbed these apples I don't feel like I have the apples I do have a lot of these wooden ornaments but Sarah's a teacher and I want to make her something for her classroom maybe for Halloween or maybe do like um a red apple and put her name on it. I don't know, but I like the idea of this for teachers. So if you have young children or grandkids with teachers and they're doing some type of a appreciation gift in May, which is probably when I will get this stuff ready for her, um, 
You can make a little ornament for them with the teacher's name and attach a gift card or something. But I thought these were adorable. And then I ran out of these last year, so I wanted another package because I love them. And these are coffee mugs, like pumpkin spice. But I love them. Um, I may get another package. So you get eight in here, but I think this is great for hot chocolate, for coffee, any kind of gift tags. I love these for gift tags on people's packages especially like for me because I don't have a ton of people to buy for so I can take the extra time and effort into packaging the things for this, the amount of people that I am purchasing gifts for it's kind of how I look at it oh I do have a second one of these in case I ruin the first one in the heat press <laughs> there's a very good chance that the plastic will melt and it won't work so we'll, we'll do our best to not have that happen but watch that video and you'll see um, okie dokie, smoky. I have, let me pull out some more stuff here. Um, and again, nothing is in specific order, but I did find these cupcake picks. And these are, oh, that one broke off. I'll have to glue it back on. These are pumpkins, ghosts, and black cats. And they're just little cutouts. I mean, you can make these yourself with toothpicks glued to them. And you can put them in cupcakes or in like a cheese platter. So I'm having a Hocus Pocus watch party and I'm gonna be putting a little bit of snacks for it. And so I can put, spear these in some cheese or something, cube cheese and meat in a party dip or something and have some just little decorations. And these are fantastic. And you get eight pieces, which I think is perfect. Now, if you pack your children's lunch and you like to do special little things for them, that would be fun too. I found one pack of these and I'm sad because I would love to have had more than one package. These are Danskin now. These socks are not cotton. They are, well, they're performance, feather light, mesh, moisture wicking athletic socks but the reason I love them you see that little tab on the back right here this is a type of sock that I enjoy because I have I think I have a flat heel and my socks always slide down but when I wear them like this with this extra little bump they tend to stay up on my shoe so these came in hot pink in black and in purple and I wear these a lot the style of sock all the time when I wear leggings and tennis shoes. So these are perfect for me. I'm even going to take them apart so I can toss them in the washer and then have them. Uh, when I went to the store that I found them at, this was the only package that they had left. So I assume that they had more and somebody bought them all up. This one, it, the package was ripped. So maybe somebody just didn't want them. But, I mean, they're a nice stretchy sock, and they have this ventilation to them, which is good. Um, these would be great when I go on vacation to wear if I wear my tennis shoes. Um, I'm not planning too terribly much to wear my tennis shoes, but, oh, my tag got stuck. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, and these will also, I can wear the black ones with my little booties. So, I need to throw those in the washing machine. Um, I picked up one more of these. I think this is cute and I want to make something when I go to Canada for my retreat and I want to do a little cross stitch and frame it in here. So I just grabbed one more to have in case something happens to the other one. Oh, and they, I don't know if these were from last year or not. I cannot remember, but this color is so pretty and I love napkins. Um, so I just grabbed a pack to put out again when I'm having my Halloween party maybe, or when I'm packing my lunch for work, I always throw a napkin in and they're just fun to have. So this is just a 14 count dinner napkins. I mean, they're great to have on hand. Um, I picked up this fabric because I am making something uh, for Christmas I got, for my niece and I that I already purchased the other materials, but I needed some yellow, potentially black. I can't decide if I'm gonna do yellow and orange or yellow and gray or yellow and black, but I needed a small piece of this fabric. And I was like, well, this is perfect because now I don't have to go to the fabric store and have them cut it. That's the perfect, that's exactly what I needed. Um, and then I got some of these emery boards. The ones at the Dollar Tree sell stink. You, you file one time 
and the little abrasive comes off the grit and it does they just are terrible so i like little ones to keep when i'm traveling in my backpack like i'll put one in my backpack one in my purse one in my overnight bag because there's nothing that drives me more nuts than having a snagged fingernail and no way to fix it so i kind of like chapstick i keep these everywhere and i was looking for something tiny and these you get 10 of them for a buck 25 and this is a good brand so i picked those out because they were small enough to throw in a bag um, I grabbed some more of these and what I have done is I built the little coffins and I've already bought the candy and filled them. This is the larger size. It comes with two to a package. The smaller size comes with three to a package. And I will tell you that the smaller size holds four fun size candy bars. And so what I was able to put in the little ones, the big one holds a lot more, but I did already put the small ones together and filled them with some candy to bring to work and yeah the little ones will hold four pieces of candy so i got a reese's peanut butter cup and kit kat mix and i got a caramel lovers so it's caramel m m caramel milky way a snickers and there was a fourth candy in there and i just kind of oh a twix so i kind of just mixed it all up but i was able to put four of those decent sized little pieces of candy in the little ones. So class projects or class gifts if you have young ones or you can use them if you're having a little Halloween party or if you just get a couple trick or treaters, that would be fun to just toss, you know, out to the children. Speaking of, oh, let me grab the rest of Guys, I've got to come up with a better system up here if I'm gonna be doing videos up here of how to put my stuff. What do you think? Okay. Um, I need to get one more bag of this, but this is the candy corn drizzled popcorn for the Halloween. Uh, this is Sweet Chaos, and this is for Sarah, and I will get one for her friend Riley, and these will go in their little snack bags. Also, in my video I'm going that I'm using my heat transfer, I'm going to try to put heat transfer on a paper bag to decorate. So that's what this stuff is for, to fill those paper bags for them when they go on their little trip putting them some car snacks because they're driving um i grabbed some crabtree and evelyn london rose water and pink peppercorn hydrating body wash for my vacation um i love getting this little size and then i just smells good too and i just toss it i don't bring it home like this is enough for a week's worth of showers for me if, if i you know i don't need a ton plus they give you some in the hotel room and i think i have another little bottle but I'll use all this stuff up while I'm there and then throw the containers away and not even bring them home. So I like this size for that. Same thing with toothpaste. I buy these um, pretty frequently because when I'm on the go, I'm always on the go and I like to have a toothbrush and toothpaste with me if I'm going to be gone, even just for a few, you know, for like a day or overnight, obviously. But sometimes if I'm on a long day trip, I like to throw a toothbrush and toothpaste in my purse just to freshen up in this size works well for that and this is just the 0.85 ounce and it's the crest 3d white which i do enjoy so i can bring this in my carry-on as long as your as long as your containers now this one would not go in my carry-on but this is 1.7 ounce i believe it has to be 3.4 ounces or less the package size it doesn't matter what's how much is in the package if this package was five ounces but there was only a little bit left I still can't bring it on the plane. So these are definitely like airplane TSA approved size stuff to bring on the airplane. Another thing I'm gonna be doing is trying to heat transfer onto this type of fabric without melting it. Have you seen the theme here? We're gonna try a lot of different fabrics without melting them. Um, but these are, these are size small and they're just little bandanas for pets. Um, I got these for my brother's cats. Now they'll probably have to tie them, you know, to get them to stay on, to stay on the cats. But I got them for the little cats and I'm going to personalize them when I make that video. Um, but if you have a, cause that's a little big for them. This fits Alex perfectly fine, but it would be a little large on Wellington as well. Now let's see if he's. Maybe that, oh, I 
I mean, I'm gonna open this because that one looks much larger. Oh no, it's because of how it's folded over. Okay, so because that would be a good size, but this will be fine and they can always just tie a little knot and then they can slip it over the cat's head and off, on and off. It's just, it's just to be cute. Nothing that they're gonna make them wear all the time. But I need to, I'm gonna iron some words on here and hope for the best. We're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> And then I just have a couple more things. I found some of this. Never had it before. It's Clark Chicken Spread made with white meat chicken. It's a product of Canada. And it's like one or two carbohydrates for this can. And the can is 3.25 ounce. Again, I don't even think this would be considered a liquid, but I can bring it on the airplane because I have to bring food with me. So I grabbed a couple cans of chicken and a couple cans of ham to try. If I like it, this will be dinner with some keto crackers on the plane. Um, because I, they are gonna, uh, my flight seven hours, they'll supply me with food, but I can't eat most of that stuff. So just having some things with me that I can have and a little plastic fork and this, and that's fine with me. But I have to try it because if I don't like it, I won't bring it. There's other options for me, but convenient. I can also take this with me when I work at my part-time job because again, I'm always looking for ideas and stuff to, um, to bring with me for dinners when I'm on the go. Um, I grabbed this, it is a candle. I don't typically decorate with candles, but I really liked the color. I'm gonna open it and show you. I will decorate with it this year and then probably burn it. But I loved this blue and gold combination or copper, bronze maybe, um, to put up on a shelf and just sit it there. I think it is so pretty. I love decorating with acorns. And then once it's Thanksgiving time, we get closer to Christmas, I'll just burn it. I'll put it on a candle thing and burn it. It doesn't really have any smell as far as like fall or anything like that. There's no scent to it. They're just really cute. Um, I don't like storing candles because um, they tend to melt and get gross in the storage container. And, you know, I put things in totes and stuff and it doesn't tend to work out very well. So I don't, I don't care to store candles, which is perfectly fine. I think this is adorable and I will just burn it. I love burning candles. And the last thing I got, if you have any littles, this is the Sugar Skull. I don't know if these were out last year. I don't quite remember seeing them, but I also don't always look at the candy or look too closely at the candy because I don't eat it and my, my niece is bigger. I mean, I buy her candy, but I usually get her specific candy and that like Reese's and stuff. But this is adorable. It's just a little sugar skull, but it comes with, so you have this piece of decor and then it opens and it has Smarties inside, which are fine, but if you don't want the Smarties, you can fill this with any kind of candy you want. And again, just a fun little treat for your grandkids, your children, a neighbor. You can put some candies in here and take it over and make it enjoy, you know, popping it open. You can make this an ornament or it can be decor and just sit on a shelf. So that is what I picked up this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy. I saw some Christmas stuff out at a few of my stores. I think I picked up a couple things. Mostly what I'm seeing is stuff from last year. I haven't seen anything new yet, and it's the gnome stuff that they've come out with. So I did pick up just a couple things on an, for another haul that I know I got last year, but I ran out of or wanted more of. And so, yeah, that's um, that's where we're at, and they're starting to get more Christmassy type stuff in. So I'm excited because I love Christmas, and I can't wait to make some DIY videos for us. Um, don't forget to join our Facebook group so we can share ideas over there. And I'm also on Instagram. All right, guys, have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.